Good morning. Welcome to the shop. Thanks for stopping by. For the last week, I've been messing around with the longer Nano Pro 12 watt laser engraver. It is a portable laser engraver. Has a stand it comes with that is motorized for aiming. Uh, it can be adjusted in 20 degree increments, so you can adjust the angle on it. You could take it off and hold it up against the vertical surface and engrave on a vertical surface. Haven't done that yet. I need to try that. Um, it does excellent job on plywood, but so do all laser engravers. What we're going to do is see what this machine is actually capable of. This is white canvas painted black, and I engraved this eagle the other day, just testing things out. I think if I played with the settings a little bit, I can make that a little better. I did that slate the other day. It turned out very well. We're going to engrave some more slates. Here's another slate. This one here, I just randomly grabbed the numbers. It was the first shot. I think I can make that turn out a little better. But we're going to test some things out. We're going to show you how to hook it up to light burn. It's very simple. The, uh, the system comes with a little USB card reader. And in the back of it is a micro SD card. On this micro SD card is a configuration file for light burn to install it. Also comes with a USB driver if you need it. Uh, so once we get it hooked up to light burn, we'll run a couple of things with it. And then we're going to hook it up to the mobile app, and we're going to burn a couple of things through the mobile app. Um, both of them work very well, so stay tuned. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, you want to open up light burn. You want to take your USB card reader, plug it into your USB port. You go down to devices. You want to go to import. Then you navigate to whatever that drive is and you'll see a folder called software. There's an instructional video folder. There's manuals, which is the owner's operation manuals, tells you exactly what I'm telling you here. And there's softwares. Here is your driver, the CH340 driver. And this other file down here, lasernano.lbdev, is your configuration file. So you click on it, you hit open. Now we have Nano Pro. We hit OK. We power on the laser. You can hear that the USB picked it up. Switch to Nano Pro on COM9. And we are set to ready to go. That fast, that easy. You know, when you want to switch to the slide extension or the rotary, you'll come over here to console. You'll see switch slide extension, switch rotary, or switch carving mode. We need to be in carving mode. Sometimes the lasers don't connect, and it's because it doesn't know which mode it's supposed to be in. So you come over here and switch it, and now we're ready to go. So we could take out the card reader, and I keep my files on a USB stick because I design on one computer and I have one in the shop. So let's go to open, let's scroll down to the bottom where I was playing with different files. Let's grab the base. And open it up. Now what I like to do 
You'll notice I have a line and then I have an image. If we turn off the image, turn on the line, you'll see that there is a line around here. What I always do is put a box around the image and then I put a piece of construction paper down on my laser bed and tape it down. Then I lightly burn that box in so I have a perfect pattern for where my actual uh, project piece needs to go. So you just put in 2,000 and up it to about 15%. And then make sure that is on output. And then that will burn just that line. If we move this here, you can just see this line is right there. So we'll put this back where it needs to go. Turn that off, turn this on. Now for these images, 24,000, we know that's not right. We want to go 2,500 at a max of 22%. And then if we go to preview, you'll see what we're going to get. So let me get this all lined up. We'll give it a shot. Okay, so now we've got it aimed. What we are going to do, let's see, we're going to turn off the image. We're going to turn on the outer box or frame and we're going to burn that frame into that piece of paper as you can see there it's burning now we're going to turn off the box and on the image now we're going to set our plate our our pro, um, material into that box. My material is just a little bigger than the what the laser's designed for. And we're going to re-aim. And then we are going to start burning that. Let's see, this is pretty detailed. Let's see how long it says this is going to take to do. It says it's going to take about an hour to cut that with all of the details. So let's hit start. And we'll run it through. And that quick and easy. You are connected to Lightburn and you are burning. If you have any questions connecting to Lightburn or you have any issues, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll see if I can help you out. I'll be happy to help you out if I can. Um, yeah, if you have any issues, just let me know. I'll see what I can do to help you. And we'll go from there. Okay, while this thing's burning here, I wanted to show you this carrying case, this uh, case to store your laser in. Get it open here without disturbing the laser. But it has a spot for the laser assembly to sit, spot for the safety uh, shield to sit, another spot for the um, uh, uh, lifting bar and for the base plate to sit in here. Very well padded. I will be happy to have this to store my mine in until I use it. And also come in handy so you can take it someplace and do a job on, uh, on site somewhere. So 
Uh, again, links for everything you're going to need is going to be down below. Um, link to the website to purchase it is going to be down below. Discount code also down below. Um, these guys have been great to deal with. Excellent product, very well made. So please check them out. If you want to get into laser engraving, you want something that's portable, you don't want to have the big metal framed uh, desktop type laser engravers, this is what you need. You take it to craft shows, you take it to a job site to engrave um, whatever you want to engrave. So check them out. Don't forget to order your accessories. And there we are, we are done. That turned out very nice. I don't know if that's going to be easily visible, but that turned out very nice in the slate. I like that. So now, let me disconnect everything from light burn. And we will go to the mobile app. Okay, for the next thing we're going to do, we're going to show you how to set it up to the Laser Burn app, which again is something very simple, very easy to do. I am doing it on an iPhone. Let me get everything set to go. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go under settings and connect to the longer laser nano Wi-Fi. We are connected here in my case. Now we go to the laser burn app. We are connected to the laser. If it does not connect, there is a button on the back of the laser head to reset the Wi-Fi. We reset the Wi-Fi. Now from this point, you can go look at all your files that you have done. You can delete files if necessary. We can go to history and see what was burned the last time. We can re-engrave it, which is what we're going to do. Now this would be your creation tab. You could add layers. Again, like I always do, I have a outline layer so I know where my piece has got to go. Um, we have the image layer, which we've got set to engrave. We've got the material there, which is slate. We've got the power set at 85%. Speed at 5,000 millimeters per minute with a single pass and accur accuracy is ultra fine. Doing what I'm doing now, I don't think the accuracy is really going to make that big of a difference. But we can edit, we can add layers, we can do whatever we want in this screen, and you can resize, rotate, do whatever. Now, here in this screen, is third axis. We're not running the third axis, so we're close. Claw would be for the rotary, and extension would be for the slide extension. Now here we could raise or lower the laser head for focusing. I've already got mine focused. Here we could do a preview and see exactly where we um, uh, it's going to be. I do the same thing by putting the box around it. Now it's going to tell us, check focal length, be sure the uh, work area is safe, wear safety goggles. It's going to save the file. And it's going to save it, and then it's going to upload it to the engraver. 
Now here in a moment, when it's done uploading, it's going to tell me to hit the start button on the laser. And then we press start on the laser. And there we go. We are now burning. And it tells you in the lower right corner there, progress. And when it's done, the machine will beep. That easy. The app works flawlessly for me. Oh, the directions are very clear. Just a couple of steps and you're burned. This is easy to do. So now you can see how quick and easy to go to the light burn, to the mobile app, you disconnect from Wi-Fi, you can go right back into light burn. You can switch from one to the other. If you're on a job site and you're engraving on a vertical panel or something, you can save it to your phone, burn it directly from your phone while you're standing right at whatever it is you need to engrave. Almost, there we go. It is done, work completed. Confirm that our work is complete. And we can close the app out now, we are done. Well, there we have it. Next thing we need to get into is the uh, slide extension and the rotary. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be in a separate video. Um, again, links for all of this down below. Uh, discount code down below, PW100, $100 off. Get it while you can. These are going to go quick. A lot will go on back order very quickly. Just check them out. I'm having a blast messing with this thing. And we've done coasters. We've done canvas, we've done leather, we've done intricate engravings. So check it out. Very capable machine. Amazing accuracy. This thing is just great. So get yours now. Again, if you have any issues connecting to Lightburn or to the mobile app, feel free to ask me. If I don't know the answer, I'll find somebody for you that does and get you connected to them, if I can. I'll do my best. So again, please follow along, uh, subscribe, like, all that good jazz. Thanks for watching.